Hey there, Mr. Sutton here with the Pre-Cal Honors 8.1 Part 2 Homework Solutions on Arithmetic Series. For number one, we're trying to find the sum of the arithmetic series that starts with negative 8, goes to 27, and has, you guessed it, 27 terms in it. So let's get out that formula. We have n times t1 plus tn over 2. And then for n, we've got 27, that's the number of terms. T1 is negative 8, TN is 252. Let's plug it all in, and it's calculator time. And I'll just plug all of that in using my fancy, my fancy uh, alpha y equals fraction format. That's 3,294. For number 2, we want the sum of this arithmetic series. So we've got our uh, formula, N times T1 plus TN over 2. N in this case is the number of terms 104. T1, well, they spelled it out. It's 12. Tn is this other one, negative 50. So let's plug all those in, and we'll uh, use our calculator for this one. So plugging all that stuff in, we end up with negative 1976. A very bad year. For number three, we're trying to find the sum of this arithmetic series. Now, for this one, I mean, we can start by writing our sum formula, n times t1 plus tn over 2. Um, but you're going to find very quickly that we're missing a few things. We know n, it's 30, that's 30 terms. t1 is 10, but what's tn? We do not know the 30th term for this, so we're going to have to find it. For that, I'm going to use my arithmetic sequence formula, t1 plus d times n minus 1. And we want t30, so that's going to be the initial term of 10, plus this is a common difference of 3 times 30 minus 1. So this is really like having 90 minus 3, or 87, plus 10 is 97. So 97 is our Tn. Plugging it all back in then, we've got sum of 30 equals uh, 30 times 10 plus 97, all over 2. And for this, I am going to use the calculator. So here we go. And that comes out to 1,605. For number four, we want the sum of this arithmetic series. So let's start with our formula, n times t1 plus tn over 2. We've got t1, that's 27. n is the 42 that they said here. But we don't know tn. We don't know the 42nd term. So I'm going to use my arithmetic sequence formula, t1 plus d times n minus 1, to find the 42nd term. t42, that's going to be our first term, 27 plus the common difference, which, let's see, 44 minus 27, that's 17, times 42 minus 1. And I have no idea what that's going to be, so let me use the calculator. Let my calculator do the heavy lifting here. I end up with 724. We'll take the calculator's word for it. But that gives us something to plug in. So in our original formula now, we have 42 times 27 plus 724, all over 2. Not doing that in my head either. Calculator time. Plugging all that in, we end up with 15,771. For number 5, we want the sum of this arithmetic series. Our general formula is n times t1 plus tn over 2. We know t1, it's negative 24. tn is 444, but we don't actually know the number of terms, n. So to find this, I'm going to use my arithmetic sequence formula, I've got tn equals t1 plus d times n minus 1. And this time around, I need to solve for n. Because I know tn, I know t1. Common difference I can find pretty quickly. It's going to end up being, let's see, negative 18 minus negative 24. Uh, that would end up being 6. We're adding 6 each time. Uh, so plugging all that in to solve for n, I've got 444 equals negative 24 plus 6 times... Uh, we don't know what n is. We're solving for that. So n minus 1. Doing a little bit of algebra now. I'm going to add 24 over there. So that's going to be 468. And I'll distribute the 6 over here to have 6n minus 6. Adding the 6, we've got 474. And dividing by 6, well, I don't know what that's going to be. Well, it, this is almost 480. Um, so... 48 divided by 6, I know that's going to be 8, so this is almost 80, it's going to be 6, let's see, it's going to be 1 less than 80, so 79 altogether, doing some fancy mental math there. 
Uh, so that gives us something to plug in. We've got 79 times negative 24 plus 444 all over 2. And let's use the calculator for this part. All right, there we go. I've entered all of it. Calculator says 16,590. For number 6, I'm trying to find the sum of this arithmetic series. So general formula, we have n times t1 plus tn over 2. Now the good news is I know t1 and tn. Bad news is I don't know actually how many terms are here. All right, so to find that, I'll use my uh, arithmetic sequence formula. tn equals t1 plus d times n minus 1. And I'm using this because I know tn and t1, and I could find the common difference. I just need to solve for n. So common difference out of this one, it looks like we are subtracting 3 each time. So this would be negative 3. And then we have a negative 159 equals negative 12 minus 3 times n minus 1. I'm going to add the 12 over here. That gives me negative 147. And I'll distribute my 3 to have negative 3n plus 3. Subtracting 3, we've got negative 150. And then dividing by negative 3, that comes out to n equals 50. Well, that's nice how that worked out. So plugging stuff in, I've got 50 times negative 12 plus negative 159 all over 2. And let's see what the calculator makes of this. And this is all going to come out to negative 4,275. Glad I didn't do that in my head.